So a lot of the outfits that I wear or pieces in my wardrobe have often been inspired by something that I've seen either in real life or online. And every now and then I like to do a little deep dive for fashion inspo when I'm really in the mood to consume content and I mean like really consume it. I will go back through my recently pinned pictures, my saved images on Instagram and favorited videos on TikTok. And often they're things that I've seen when casually scrolling but I wanna go back and give it the attention that I feel like it deserves. And I will go and I will dive dissect that image or video and really analyze and think about what it is that I liked so much about it or what drew me to it. Sometimes it's because I've seen a particular garment that I like and then I will try and find my own version of it on Vinted or Depop or eBay or if I'm really desperate for it I'll try and find the exact same one. Or sometimes it's because I like the way that the outfit has been constructed and put together and I want to draw inspiration from that and then other times it's simply about color combinations and pairings. And as we get deeper into the season and the weather is starting to get a little bit colder now I'm starting to think more about winter outfits. I kind of feel like I've been wearing the same outfits on repeat for a little while now. Actually, most of them are from my autumn lookbook video, so if you haven't watched that, go and watch that after this. But I thought in this video we could do a little inspo deep dive together and just talk about things that I'm loving in fashion right now. But before we get into it, I want to introduce today's paid partner, BetterHelp. If you're not familiar, BetterHelp is a online therapy service that makes starting therapy super easy. You fill out a quick questionnaire and then get matched with a therapist. If you feel like your therapist isn't the right fit for you, you can switch until you find someone you feel like you can truly connect with. Therapy is such an incredibly personal experience and it's so important to find someone who you feel like you can truly open up to. I genuinely believe that everybody can benefit from speaking to a therapist. You don't need a diagnosed mental health issue to start therapy. Life is crazy sometimes and it can get so overwhelming. Personally, I found this year to be particularly tough. I've gone through periods where I've just felt really down and experienced really low moods and lack of energy and motivation and some days just finding it really hard to get out of bed and leave the house all whilst not really knowing exactly what was causing it or what I can do about it or how to even get through it and therapy has since been really high up on my to-do list and I feel like I'm finally ready to take that step and actively work on my mental health I think one of the reasons that I haven't really prioritized therapy yet is just because I've been so busy and I just haven't found the time but with better help it can be done from the comfort of your own home and fit around your schedule therapy provides a safe space to talk to a professional about whatever's on your mind it helps you gain new perspectives, manage stress, and make real positive changes in your life. You can click the link in the description of this video or use my code to get 10% off your first month of therapy. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for being the paid partner of this video. I love you guys so much and take care of yourselves, okay? Now let's get into the video. Okay, I'm gonna start with some of my TikTok favorites. Today's outfit of the day, I'm wearing this really cute cardigan from Seven Jeans, um, a white t-shirt from Reformation, below the belt belt, and then these pants from Anthropology. They're honestly getting kind of dirty. I don't know what to do about that, but that is today's outfit. Honestly, really comfy. I'm just gonna go get sushi with my boyfriend and yeah. Okay, so first of all, I have been on a hunt, not a very successful one, for an off-white pair of jeans. I want them to be like mid to low rise and baggy, but definitely not as baggy as this. I could not handle the way that these would drag on the floor and get so dirty, but jean shopping both online and in person is such a painful experience, especially for me, like my proportions are a bit crazy. I've got massive thighs. I can just never really find any that fit or look nice on me, and it's such a blessing when I do, but it's so rare, like it's a real needle in a haystack kind of thing. But I keep planning outfits in my head that need jeans that I don't currently have. So if you ever see any cute ones, send them to me on Instagram. I just really like this whole outfit. I thought that I could kind of easily recreate it once I own these jeans that do not exist. I love the little studded belt. I have a woven leather burgundy bag and obviously like I have like a white vest and a black cardigan. So I felt like this was something that I saved to try and recreate in my own way. Just once I own those goddamn jeans. Okay, next video. Okay, so I know I saved this one because I was obsessed with the coat. I've been on the hunt for some wool overcoats that have a bit more interesting like shape or silhouette or structure to them. Like the neckline on this one just adds a little bit of extra sun sun. I also like her taste in interiors. Um, she said in the comments that the coat is from New Amsterdam Surf Association if you wanna try and find it. But I think I'm just gonna try and hunt to find a wool overcoat with like a neckline that's similar to that. I also think it's really chic having the hair tucked in. I usually get kind of overstimulated when my hair is still tucked in, but I really like the way that it looks. Mew. Mew, mew. Mew, mew. Mew, mew. Mew, mew. Mew, mew. Mew, mew. 
Mew Mew. Look, we need to talk about these Mew Mew glasses. These tortoiseshell oval reading glasses have been all over all of my feeds for weeks now. And I get it. I love them too. Like, I think they are so chic, but they are 350 pounds. I also feel like they are going to be a small micro trend. And that is by no means a dig. Like, I think the term micro trend has a lot of negative connotations around it. But I think that if done relatively mindfully, it's just like a fun and harmless way in participating in fashion. Like, the Pinterest gullies can't help that they know what's up, you know what I mean? But I feel like these exact glasses are essentially the new Bayonetta. And a few of my favorite fashion gullies wear these glasses, like Sierra O'Day and Love You, and they just look incredible in them. Like, they make me want them so much, but I actually don't even need reading glasses. <laughs> At least I don't think I do. I haven't had an eye test done in like over like 15 years but I'm pretty confident in my vision. Anywho, I love this little outfit. I think it's really cute. I think the layering's really nice. Suede is obviously very seasonal and it has been slightly more popularized this autumn winter. The little men's white boxer brief and the translucent black tights and the gray and the white. I just love it all. It's really cute. It's a cute look. That being said, I don't know if I would actually wear it in real life, maybe with a pair of baggy jeans and the white boxers poking out from underneath. Let's go on to the next video. A breath of fresh air, not seeing a single logo on the Prada ready to wear this season because sometimes you need to stop trying to make fetch happen. And I understand Raph had his triangle obsession and Mutual let him have it for a little, but enough's enough. Prada has such distinct house codes, it is recognizable without having to rely on a monogram or a logo, and that is a good thing. First of all, I'm in love with this girl. I think her name is Yola. I love everything that she wears. I love her whole vibe, her whole aura. She is just the moment, and if you don't follow her, go and follow her now. I think the reason I saved this video is because what she's saying runs true, not just for Prada, but for all brands. I just hate a logo. I hate seeing a brand's logo on an item of clothing. My boyfriend has been leveling up his wardrobe over the last couple of weeks since he started his new job. He's just been upgrading and replacing a lot of his basics, like his socks and his t-shirts, and now they don't have logos on them. He just looks so much more like chic and refined, and I love it. Also, whilst we're on this video, let's talk about V-neck knit sweaters. I feel like I'm seeing them more this autumn winter than I have before. I love them. I think they're so chic i think i prefer them when they're a little bit more masculine maybe a little bit oversized and long but if you want like a more feminine shape guimaguas do one that's a little bit more cropped a little bit more sheer and it comes in a few different colors i've definitely been seeing them a lot more this autumn winter than i have done in previous years so maybe they're a little bit of a trend for this season i have actually ordered a men's navy cashmere v-neck sweater that should be coming in the post from vintage any minute now honestly i was very tempted to buy one in gray as well i just feel like i own so much gray I'm literally wearing a grey knit now. This is actually men's Cezanne. Me and Solly have matching ones and it's lovely and it's really soft. I actually put it on yesterday for the first time since it's gotten colder and I've forgotten how much I loved it. So that's made me think, hmm, maybe I, maybe I don't need a grey v-neck. But I would say everybody needs at least one piece of good solid grey knitwear in their autumn winter wardrobe. I really love this whole video. I love this girl. I love her outfit. I love her energy. If you follow me on Instagram or on TikTok, you might think that this outfit looks quite familiar. That's because I very much tried to emulate it in my own way and it's an outfit that I keep reaching for over and over again because it's baggy it's comfy it's cool it's perfect for if it's rainy because you're wearing shorts so your trousers don't drag in any puddles and you're wearing boots I wear it with my black raincoat and my butter yellow bag and it's literally my favorite outfit at the moment I keep wearing it to the point where I'm like is this embarrassing I've worn this three times this week but I actually don't care I just love it and I love the way that I feel when I put it on and I think that's the most important thing obviously for those of us in the northern hemisphere the Javianas have now been packed away but for me, I think the focus of this video is more about the simplicity and the execution of the simplicity. And that's really something that I've been trying to carry this year. Like you will not look back and regret a really simple and chic outfit. Whereas in the past, I feel like I've definitely been known to be a bit more experimental with my outfits. <coughs> and I just feel like that phase of my life is over. Like for example, I went to the pub on Friday and I just wore some vintage dark wash jeans and my black v-neck knit jumper. That was it, kept it simple. And I'm never gonna look back at that and regret it, do you know what I mean? This little carousel really stuck with me. It made such a big impression on me. I went straight to Pinterest and started pinning loads of pictures of Taylor Russell. I feel like her autumn winter street style is just elite. I feel like I'm really lacking in winter accessories. I want a baseball cap. I want some big scarves and snoods and I feel like I'm slightly lacking in that department a little bit. Every single one of these outfits look very effortlessly put together. They're very classy. I can't help but notice her incredible collection of coats. She's really got outerwear down to a T. And then in each look, she's wearing sunglasses and some form of headwear. I feel like if you're looking for everyday outfit inspo for this autumn winter, 
Taylor Russell is your girl. And then we're just gonna have a little Pinterest deep dive. So I'm on my autumn winter mood board. I love the shape of this suede jacket and the biker neckline. And I like it being paired with the burgundy ballet flats. I have been looking for a beige suede jacket, but I feel like it's something that I really wanna try on in person. So I've been too scared to buy any on vintage just in case I don't like it. I think it's time to book in a little Brick Lane or Portobello vintage shopping trip with the girls soon. Next picture, this wool overcoat is amazing. I love the silhouette of it. It's almost got like a balloon sleeve and I really want a wool coat that's almost like a mix of brown and khaki. And this is just perfect. Also a wool overcoat and a really, really short slick hairdo. Oh, I'm so jealous. I really wish I could pull that off. I feel like I'm in a bit of a weird hair slump at the moment. I don't really know what to do with it. I actually don't want to talk about what's going on with it today. I spent too long trying to do something with it and I was like, time is ticking. I need to just get a wriggle on. So I'm just wearing it down and boring. I was really drawn to the color combinations of this outfit. I really like the deep plum, the beigey gray knit with the tan suede. Just lovely. This picture is by Lucky Girl Studio. If you ever need outfit inspiration or want to go shopping, just check out her Instagram and her website. She has got her styling down and her stock is just always so good. Good. This outfit I thought was sick. That totem trench, you just know it's gonna cost an arm and a leg. Like I'm not even gonna bother looking, but it would inspire me to try and look out for a trench that has a little bit more je ne sais quoi, you know? As a color combination, I think that deep chocolate brown and olivey khaki green looks really, really cool together. Love all of the tones in this outfit. Flicking through this board just makes me wanna spend loads of time on Vinted. I've just realized that I accidentally missed a TikTok off of my favorites list. It's by Becky Kim, I love her. I think I found her relatively recently. She has been churning out really good, really helpful everyday autumn winter styling content. That was a video I had in the list, but she has so many other great ones. She actually influenced me to get these Motel Rocks jeans. I think this is the first time I've bought anything from Motel Rocks since I was like 16. I hate to say it, some of the denim is quite nice. I tried to find the colorway that I wanted in my size on Vinted and Depop first, but I couldn't, so I bought it off Urban Outfitters. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know you guys are gonna hate this. They're not here yet, I might not keep them, but they look like a really nice low rise straight leg and in a nice wash, so we shall see. All I can say is sorry, I'm embarrassed too. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for now. It's making me wanna spend money that I really don't have, but it's good to get the cogs turning and start thinking about winter outfits. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to click like, click subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.